Hello, Ron Kerr with Houston Seismic, talking today about how picking wrong velocities in depth migration can cause you all sorts of bad issues. At the top is a geologic model. Layer 1 is a constant 3,000 meters per second. The base of layer 1 is flat. I'm assuming no anisotropy here. Now, that equation on the right is very important. Depth equals velocity times time. So as velocity increases, depth increases. So let's look at the results of these model in the middle. Two examples. On the left, I picked the velocity too slow for layer one. I picked it at 2,500 meters per second. It takes less, it's assuming that the base of that would be shallower because I defined it too slow. If I picked it too fast at 3,500 meters per second, now it's too deep because I put in a too fast velocity value, therefore the depth is too fast when you multiply it by the constant time to the reflector. The correct answer would only be here in the middle at, if I picked it at 3,000 meters per second. That would be the only way to get the correct depth. Now, the correct depth is only part of depth migration. What is the dip? Well, at the bottom, this is a more interesting example. What if we pick the velocities laterally changing? So they were 2,500 meters per second here on the left and 3,500 meters per second here on the right. Velocity is increasing laterally to the right. And the dip goes down and to the right. You can sort of see that here in the middle. The dip goes down and to the right as the velocity increases. So I failed all three times here. I picked the velocity too slow and constant on the top left. I picked the velocity too fast and constant here on the right. And I picked it laterally, which was wrong, here on the bottom. The only answer for it, this specific geologic model is a constant 3,000 meters per second for the V1 layer. Depth migration works great, but you have to have the velocities correct. If they're either constantly too wrong or they're laterally too wrong, you can end up with issues. There are a um, number of ways to come up with depth velocities for depth migration. They're all tricky, but they can all work if you do them right. If you need consulting work or training work, send me an email, please. Ron.kerr at HoustonSeismic.com. Thank you very much.